What's up guys? Uh, out on the Stono River today, I think it's January 20th, and it is incredible weather right now. I mean, I'm in shorts and a sweatshirt, but I'm like sweating in the sweatshirt. I think around midnight tonight though, we're supposed to start getting some really bad weather. We're around 70 degrees now, but it's supposed to go to freezing overnight. So I'm hoping for a little pre-front uh, trout bite, maybe some reds. Uh, it's going to low tide. I think low tide's in the next 90 minutes. So I'm gonna try to fish face until sunset through the low tide and the incoming. Stay tuned, we gonna get on them later. Man, something hit right here. Damn. I delayed it. <laughs> What's this in there? Oh my goodness. You know, don't you, buddy? You know when things are happening. All right, guys, I just came down one turn. They've got a little oyster bank over here. Maybe some things will hole up but it goes from like pretty shallow to about 10 feet right up there so they're not in my usual spot so i just figured i'd try here it's the first sign of bait i've seen oh and i had a hit i knew it i felt it i thought there's no way i was above off the bottom all right let's try that again it's funny, the current's barely moving through here, but back there through that tree, it was ripping, which can tell you maybe the fish aren't there. By the by there, I mean over there. They may be in in a less current area. Oh man. Maybe I need to go to the old gray ghost. It's pretty clear water. Oh man, something hit right here. Damn. Whoa. <laughs> what you think, bud? You wanna lick him? He hit that thing, bam. Okay guys, switched up to the clear. You just saw that and they just hit it hard. There's a little break right there. You can see the break in the water, clear in like the ripples. And he hammered it right there. Okay. Boom! Always bring a bar towel with you guys. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I don't know how long I've been filming. I've probably been fishing at least an hour. That was the first hit I've had. He hammered that thing on the way up. So he must have been watching it. And then bam, let me show you what I switched to. So I've been just throwing a bunch of different things, but I went smaller, but then I went back to bigger with the uh, Z, this, uh, this is the Grey Ghost by Saltwater Assassins, but I have that little jig head right here, this little mushroom jig head. It's like a 1 16th or 1 8th or something like that. And uh, that was first cast with it, I think. I'll have to go back and look on the video, but all right, let's go catch some more. We can do this now. Come on, come on. <coughs> Thank you. 
Oh, okay. I was not paying attention, y'all. I was looking left. You see those like white little dots are? Let's do that again. I don't know what happened there. So they're about halfway between me. Somewhere right here. Oh no, what are they doing? Must be little babies. All right guys, we're gonna get them on this one. I'm gonna speed up my retrieval a little bit. Bring it about a foot off the bottom and just see what happens. Oh. <laughs> These must just be small. It's just fun to play with them though right now. I'm gonna let them hit it and come back. Got him. I just let him have it. <laughs> See how he's literally just picking it up right off the bottom. Yeah, a little dink. Number two. Got him. Let's go again. So it's about seven feet here and I'm just letting it come off that bank and fall down into the pool. Oh man, I don't know if you guys could see my line, but they're in there. So what I'm gonna do is that last bite, if you'll watch it, I don't really hook set. I like give it a delayed hook set because he, I don't know why. I don't know why that's working, but it is working. So let's try it again. I mean, I'm getting hit after hit after hit on this grub. I mean, you can see it just falls off into a pool. I'm waiting for that thump, and then I'm just gonna, oop, there it goes. <laughs> it's so bizarre, man. Easy, bud. E e e e easy. Uh oh, come on. There we go. That little dink. <laughs> All right. What? A couple things, real quick. There's a creek that comes out right there. You can see the gap in the. It's like right there. So a little bit of water's coming off the flat into the creek here. So that that's changing the environment. It's just not regular right there's something different there what's also happened is you got a deep little pool here uh, i don't have a fish finder i do have the depth finder though so i actually find fish by literally just mapping the bottom right i don't have a screen that tells me i need one and i want one i just don't have one uh but lastly on the hook set if you'll notice like i was i was like i was quick hook setting and i was missing them uh and what i changed it up to is when i'm feeling the bump i'm giving it a half second and then hook setting uh, I think I was actually pulling it out of their mouths because it was just happening so fast. All right, let's get another one. Let's see if we can pull number three out of here. Is that was that number three? That was number. That was number three. Yeah, pull number four. Number three out of the out of the hole. Number four total. I spooked him. Current must have slowed down because the wind just took me. Oh, there we are. Oh man, this might be a fish. Nope, just hooked him wrong. <laughs> he was swimming upside down. <laughs> Bear, oh goodness, we can get this guy good. There we are. Yeah, well dang, oop.
Oh, oh, oh. He hit it. It's just they just don't want to commit. We got to make them commit. All right, about halfway in between. Must be falling off because I'm at 11, almost in 12 feet right now. So it must be. Oh, there it is. I delayed it. <laughs> What'd you see, Bear? Oh my goodness. You know, don't you, buddy? You know when things are happening. A little bit bigger fish. I mean, look what they are doing to that grub, though. Oh, buddy. Let me just get that out from you real quick. Mm, there we go. Yep, a little dinker. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I'm going to get on out of here. It's about 5 o'clock. It's going to get dark in about 45 minutes, and I don't want to be cleaning this boat in the dark. Um, I appreciate you guys following along. I think we ended with five trout today. I'll have to go back and check that. Maybe six. This is annoying. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to get out here. I've been kind of... We've had some bad weather, and I've been itching to get out here. And I, there was just a great day, and I knew we were about to go into some really bad weather tomorrow. So I got out here, got the pup out bear. Hey, what you telling them? Got him out here. Got to fish, got to enjoy a 70 degree day in Charleston in January. And uh, that's it, y'all. I appreciate you following along. Hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram. We've been doing some cool giveaways lately. Thank y'all. Bye.